In this video, we'll continue our lab relating to weight attribute. So if you remember in our previous video, we have configured some of the basic IBGP and EBGP configurations. And then we change the next stop behavior on the router 2 pointing towards router 3 by using next stop self command. And then we have verified that by default router 20 dot network or 30 dot network is getting advertised on router 1 via one path with only one AS hops whereas it is also advertised from other path which is uh, 600, 700 and I and by default it is going to use this as a best route because of least autonomous system paths now and then what we did we applied some weight on the router 1 pointing towards router 4 some weight of 40,000 which we applied and once we do it once we did that now the router 1 is going to use this path via router 4 as the best route so let me just quickly show you the configurations because in this lab anyway we are going to continue with the weight but we are going to use some loop bags also so quickly I'll give you some idea what we did here so I got all my configurations here if I give show runs pipe symbol section BGP and on the router 1 I have applied a weight of 40,000 here now once I applied that weight this is something what I did in our previous lab previous video so it's a continuation to that and if I verify show IP BGP 20 dot network and by default to reach this 20 dot network it is learning the routes from 4.4.4.1 with two AS hops that is router 4 with one AS hop and the default best route will be via 4.4.4.1 and if I try to trace to a 20.1.1.1 or 30.1.1.1 it's going via router 4 then going to router 3 and router 1 okay so now but the thing is if you remember in our previous lab when we applied the weight on router 1 pointing towards router 4 the weight is applied for each and every route now each and every route coming from router 4 will be automatically applied the weight that's what happening here now all the routes learn from the router 4 all the routes will be applied a weight of 40,000 now you can come across a scenario where you have two multiple exit paths and by default maybe this is your best route and but what we can do is we can apply some weight on this side to make this weight higher than the weight here the default is 0 now when you apply the weight of 1000 it's going to prefer this route but in some cases you may want some of the traffic let's say on the router 2 or you have some routes let's say 10 dot network you have 20 dot network and you have 30 dot network and 40 dot network in some scenarios you may want your router to reach to reach the specific networks or the specific network should use the this route should exit via the this route and all the remaining networks should use this route so this is what we can do by using route maps in BGP attribute now this is something what we'll be doing in this lab what we'll do is we'll try to ensure we'll create some loopbacks here on the router 2 I got a pre-configured loopbacks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with the same lab what I did the only thing is I'm going to remove the weight whatever I have applied in my previous lab if you just try to verify the weight which we applied I'm going to remove that so once I remove that weight automatically and if I give show clear IP BGP star soft command it's going to remove the weight and all the routes learns from both the sides with the default values and by default the best route will be via router 2 this is the default best route and then I'm going to advertise my loopback interfaces here so my requirement is here the weight attribute using some route maps so what I'm going to do is I'm going to advertise some of the loopbacks on router 2 let's say there are four loopbacks which I am going to create and my requirements to ensure that by default to reach these specific loopbacks here like in our scenario anything going to router 2 this will be the best route because of less autonomous system paths now what I want to do is I want to ensure that to reach uh, some specific routes let's say there are two loopbacks 
to reach these two low bags, it has to go via this route. This should be the best route. And to reach all the remaining low bags, remaining low bags, it should go via this route. So which means I'm going to share the load to reach these specific destinations. I want to use this link or this link. And for the remaining networks, should use this link. So for only those two low bags, I want to use this link. So in that case, we can also use weight, but you need to apply the weight only for those two networks. Now that will be our requirement here. Now to apply this weight only for those two networks, we need to create an ACL, which is going to match those two networks. And then we need to configure a route map. In that route map, we have to define this ACL. And then we have to say set weight whatever the weight you want to apply. So when I say apply the weight of 40,000, now the weight is going to apply only for the networks, whatever we define in the ACL. And then finally, we need to apply to route of four, towards route of four on the route of one. We need to say neighbor, whatever the IP address of the route of four. And then we are going to say route map and the name of the route map, whatever I use, let's say CCI. And then we have to apply in. So the direction anyway, I'll explain. So now uh, the weight attribute can also be used along with route maps. But if you want to match or apply a specific metric only to specific routes, then it's it's really required to you to match the networks in the ACL and use route maps and, and apply the weight under the route map. Now in our previous lab, the previous video which we discussed, we didn't use any route maps, we just applied on the route of four, which means it will automatically apply for all the routes. So that is something that's the basic difference because in most of the cases, we don't really want our metric to apply for each and every network. So we want to apply only for specific routes. So that's what we are going to do here. So the first step in our lab, so I'm going to continue with the, my, the same lab, continue with your previous lab without removing anything, just remove the weight attribute. So when you, when you remove the weight attribute on the router one, it's going to use the default paths. And then I'm going to clear the BGP. And then I'm going to advertise those four loopback interfaces, assuming that uh, I have some couple of networks on the router two. And I want to ensure that for to reach one of the two networks, uh, any two networks, you should, should use uh, route via router four. And for all the remaining networks, it should use via router two. So that anyway, we'll see that next. First, let us quickly do this configuration. I'm going to use loopbacks on the router too. So just assuming that I got some networks. So as per our default topology, I have all my loopbacks pre-configured here. Only the thing I need to do is I need to advertise them in my BGP. So 12.000 with a mask of 255, 255.255.0. I'm using uh, the mass slash 24 subnet mass. So advertising all the interfaces and I want to verify whether these routes are coming into my BGP table or not. You can verify in the local router itself. And also you can verify them on the router one. If I give show IP BGP, now I should see the routes take some time okay now we can see the routes are coming here now 12 dollar network 12 dollar 000 the first loop back second loop back third loop back and the fourth loop back and if you try to observe the best route the best route is via router 2 that is 1.1.1.2 now this is our best route so this is our diagram here. Now as per our diagram, as per our default BGP policy, now the root via router 4 is considered as the best route. This is the best route. Now why it is best route? Because of just one AS hop, that is 601. Okay. Now what is my requirement here? Now my requirement is to ensure that, and you can see the same table here, by default, Router 1 is going to prefer via 1.1.1.2 to reach any of the 12 dot prefixes. And even if you want, you can verify uh, your routing table as well. 
So I'm just taking any network just to understand how the things are going to work. If I try to trace, it's going to use the same direct route. If you want even you can verify your routing table. All are going via 1.1.1.2 1 .1 1 .1 because of less AS hops. Now I have a requirement here. Now the task here is, let's say your requirement is to ensure that, make sure that only the loop back 12.000 and 1.0 should prefer wire out of 4 and whereas all the remaining networks should use the default route that is wire out of 2. Now my requirement here is just to ensure that to reach from router 1 to reach only the first two low backs let's say 12.0.0.0 is the first low back and 12.0.1.0 so to reach these two low backs it should go wire out of 4 means router 4 should be my preferred path and for all the remaining networks remaining in the sense uh, it includes the remaining two loopbacks it also includes your 20 door network 30 door network anything going towards router 2 or via router 2 all the remaining should use the default best route whichever is via router 2 the default is via router 2 as of now everyone is going via router 2 because of less AS hops now we want to ensure that only to reach these two, these two networks we, need, we should go wire out of 4. Now in this case we need to match these two networks in your ACL. So that will be our first step. Now what I'm going to do is to make this possible I'm going to create an access list which is going to match it can be any number so I'll directly write the statements here in my uh, program here. I'll go to router 1 and then I will say the first thing I need to match those networks. Now to match these networks either you can use ACLs or prefix list. Now if you remember we did uh, these basic things how to use route maps in our route filtering videos. So, so by this time you should be good with using this access list and route map statements. So I'm going to say permit. I'm not going to deny them. I'm simply defining the permit statement with slash 24 subnet mask. So I'm going to say anything starting with 12.000 network and anything starting with 12.0.1 network or representing in the form of as ACL12. And then I'm going to say route map, some name, let's say CCI or CCNP, any name you can use, just permit 10. And I'm going to say match IP address. What is our IP address? ACL number is 12. I'm going to say match those two networks, whatever I have defined in my ACL12. And then I'm going to say set weight. When you say set weight, it is going to be applied only to the networks, whatever we have defined in the ACL 12. And I'm going to give some 4000, 2000, any number you can give, anything above zero. And then you have to give a blank route map statement with permit 20. So ensuring that all the remaining routes should use the default values. So if I'm not defining anything, which means all the remaining routes will be included in that and if I don't use any set command means automatically it's going to use the default values. Now the last step applying this. So now I need to go to router 1 pointing towards router 2 because I want to prefer via router 4 so I need to apply on the router 1. So router 1 should exit to these two low backs via router 4. So I'm going to say out of BGP 500 now I'm going to say neighbor 4.4.4.1 and instead of applying the weight we are not applying the weight here we simply represent a route map and whatever the route map we created here if you remember the name we created CCNP and then we got two directions but for the weight we are going to use only one direction that is in when we say in so if you try out, so it will not work because by default weight for out direction is not supported. It only supports in. So I'm going to say in here. So I'll explain you what is in, what is out in short. Before that, let me just quickly verify these things before I explain you again the directions as well. So either you can use clear IP BGP or clear IP BGP star soft command. Now if I verify my BGP table, show IP BGP and I want to just see only the 12 dot networks anyway you can see here 
this 12 dot network 0 0 0 the best path is via router 4 that is 4 dot 4 dot 4 dot 1 and the reason it's preferring this route because of the weight what we have applied and that weight is only applied for 12 dot 0 0 0 and 12 dot 0 1 dot 0 network but if you try to see the other loopbacks the weight is not applied which means if I verify my routing table now these two networks goes via 4.4.4.1 that is our router 4 and all the remaining remaining means your remaining two loopbacks and 30 dot network or 20 dot network all go via the default best route. Now this way we can manipulate the best path for only specific routes and when you when you think about adding only for specific destinations then you need to add those statements in a specific ACL and then you have to use route maps and then you can apply some weight or local preference anything inside that route map and we can apply to that specific neighbor now this is the way we generally configure if you want uh, if you want uh, the weight to apply for specific routes okay so next thing I just missed this part a little bit the attribute the weight attribute is local to the router which we already discussed and it's not going to exchange weight information between the routers so therefore it is going only affect you on inbound route map so it's going to work only on the inbound now there are few few things we need to understand regarding the understanding the in and out so let me quickly explain you regarding this 